We know more about the moon than the Earth's core. But that's not because scientists aren't trying. The deepest hole humans have ever dug is the Kola Superdeep Borehole in Russia. It goes seven miles down and is 350 degrees at the bottom, but that's nothing compared to how far the core is. You'd have to go another 14 miles to get through the crust to the mantle, and another 1,800 miles to get through the mantle to the core. The outer edge of the core is more than 9,000 degrees. Scientists think there's an amazing process going on there right now. The outer core is mainly molten iron and spins westward. The inner core, mostly solid iron, and rotates east. It rotates about once every 24 hours. We think that the movement of the fluid outer core over the solid inner core generates the Earth's magnetic field. Scientists call this movement the dynamo. Without this magnetic field, we probably wouldn't be here. It deflects charged particles from the sun and protects the ozone layer. That protects us from harmful UV radiation. We also think it has protected us from cosmic rays that come from supernova in the past. So, the Earth's core and the movement happening in it seems to be our friend. But how much do we really know about it? It has long been thought that what happens in the core stays in the core. But a new study from Earth scientists in the United States, Canada, and France suggests that might not be true. For the first time ever, the researchers found a proof that the actual core material is leaking. Magma from the outer core seems to travel through what are called plumes. This could drive the formation of volcanic islands like Hawaii and Iceland. This theory is not universally accepted. A lot of people thought it wasn't possible that magma could travel that way. And prior to this study, it's been very difficult to track where core material is going. Using seismic waves to map the Earth's interior only goes so far. But this group of scientists came up with a very unique way to figure out if the core is leaking. They used chemistry. See, the core has a very distinct chemistry, dominated by iron, nickel, with hints of tungsten, platinum, and gold. The scientists searched for evidence of these elements in volcanic rocks close to the surface. They focused on tungsten, which is element symbol W. It has the highest melting point of all elements discovered. Now, tungsten comes in several varieties, also called isotopes. The mantle has more of the isotope tungsten 182 than the core, and the core has more tungsten 184. Now, the concentration of tungsten in rocks is tiny, only a few parts per billion. So, it's difficult to detect the levels of these isotopes. Only a few labs in the world have the right equipment. Once they were able to do the analysis, they found that volcanic rocks from the surface add tungsten 184 from the core. Their findings show that the isotopes started showing up more in rocks about 2.5 billion years ago. That suggests that the core has been leaking since that time. Why the leak? The scientists aren't sure. It's possible it's happening because the core is still solidifying. The scientists don't say if this puts the dynamo or our magnetic field at risk. So, we're not too worried about it yet. That plot line will have to stay in bad science fiction. It's also possible that a process known as subduction, which pulls rocks from the Earth's surface deep into the mantle, is pushing oxygen all the way down to the core mantle boundary. This could also account for the leak. The nice thing about this research is it gives scientists another tool to try and understand what's happening in the core. We're a new science channel that launched about a month ago. So if you're curious about stuff like this, subscribe. <laughs>